em Veneta aqui, uh, Love is Blind Season 5, Episode 7. Uh, we guys are doing well, we guys are having a fantastic day, because if you don't deserve it, there's a lot to talk about. I have to go to sleep soon. I'm going to try to make it so we have enough time for us to have to jump in. So let's try again. Let's start right away. So I kind of fucked up. Uh, there's a, a lot of the the show. Because what I did, I watched the 6 and season 7 together. Uh, so if you want to see what's going on with the Alaya, check out the last video at the very end. I'm sorry guys, I fucked it up. Uh, we're seeing more of this. It's a time where we meet the family. And I have to say, I love, love the family meeting. Right? There's there's a fight between Izzy and Stacy that's a bit silly. Um, Izzy does does live as a bachelor. He doesn't have plates. I have plates. He doesn't have cup. I have cup. But I understand where he's coming from. He's a bachelor. Right? He's always in and out. He's always in and out. So he doesn't need to have like cuddly, right? And I would understand that there's a need for that. But maybe it's just at a time where he wants to work. He, he said that I'm constantly working, right? And uh, you do understand where he's coming from. But in this case, she's right. Where's Stacy? I'm going to have to go with Izzy, my boy. I'm sorry. Um, Izzy uh, kept a lost and found for the people that came over and left something so that's a dick move that's a really a dick move because a lot of people they would they would see this and say yo the guy is collecting trophies the guy is collecting yo i slept with her i slept with her but i don't think that's the case with izzy i think he left that here just to be like sincere and although it's a dick move to keep those it's a sincere move to keep it and if i have to choose between um appreciating a dick move or a nice move I'm gonna appreciate a nice move, and that's what something he did, right? So I'm gonna have to stick up for uh, Izzy for that. To be completely, completely frank, um, also something that I really, really enjoyed was, uh, you know, you have to pay attention to the details, right? So Stacy, she was like, "Yeah, yesterday I knew you were coming over, so I took a throw away picture," which I understand it coming from a place where she wants to protect his feeling, but it also comes from a place where, wait. You're turning him away from me. You don't want to draw them away. You're turning them away from me. So it seemed a bit disingenuine. This, uh, non-genuine. There's a word for it. I don't know the word. We're getting to meet uh, Lydia's family. Lydia's family, yo. I like that the mom is fiery. I like that, uh, that Lydia's fiery. I asked what he loved the brother of Lydia. He was chill. He was calm. He was collected. And yo, the moment that really touched me, it was the mom of Lydia and her. They're, they're, they're the same. They're the same. And, um... They were talking about, oh, raising children. You can see that she was being a great grandma. She's like, you take care of my daughter. Are you That's financially, just take care of her. You didn't care about money, and Milton has a lot of money. Uh, so that's kind of cool. Uh, it was like, you're going to give me granddaughter. So super normal question to ask. Super normal question to ask. Uh, this was the, out of the two dates we saw tonight. We're going to see two more tomorrow, because uh, I'm going to read for the show tomorrow. Um, Lydia Milton was my f very favorite, um, because the... The relationship they have, and you can see that Milton didn't have a close relationship with his parents because uh, when Lydia cries, the whole family cry, and that makes Milton go like, yo, the fact that you're crying together is something I want. Yeah. And uh, the mom, she's like, you're gonna have it, mijo, you're gonna have it, son. I thought that was like, so it makes me, that made me, uh, that made me emotional. I love the brother because the brother is like, yo, the brother, so I don't wanna be a dick, I'm not trying to be mean at all, but I'm just telling you how I feel. Um, we understand that Lydia has a lot. Her mom is very similar, so you can kind of put two and two together. Mom's a lot. The brother is smart. He's smart enough to understand. It's a lot for Milton to. Uh, it's a lot for Milton to uh, to take to take in. So you can kind of see at multiple moments where he's trying to defend Milton. For example, there's a there's a there's a time where Lydia she said, "Oh, he needs more furniture." We talked about it, and his, her brother is like, "Did you talk about it or did you tell him?" And they're just like, I told him. And then his brother's like, see. And then she, you, you can kind of see that he was trying to, he was kind of trying to push Lydia in a good direction because he kind of understand where Milton coming from. I love that. And uh, <laughs> there's a moment, a fucking nice moment where his brother's like, bro, I want to help y'all. I want to fight your battle. I want to help y'all, man. But you're fighting a losing battle. And Milton knew, but Milton still appreciates. So, yo, that was kind of cool because your in-laws are super important, right? Um, then we had a meeting with Stacy family. Then we have again, sorry, I, I had to rewatch to see if I'm not missing anything. We had the Stacy family meeting. Uh, it's kind of cool because Stacy, there's a lot of ladies 
her mom, her sisters. You kind of kind of see the fathers like, yo, I have daughters, I have daughters, and uh, it's kind of cool because they were super nice to Izzy. They were super inviting to Izzy. Um, you can kind of tell that his father was full. Like, so. There is a moment where he tells Izzy, "Hey, I wanna go have a talk." Talk. I'm gonna tell you this is for the boys. It's also for the ladies watching. Uh, the moment your boyfriend, your father's gonna talk to your boyfriend, it's a big moment for us. It's a huge moment for us because traditionally, when you ask a girl to marry you. It is, yes, the father. So this is the first impression. And it's important because, like, this is going to sound not misogynistic, but it's not. It's uh, the father and the, if you get married. I know Catholic, I know Christian ways. There's a part where he says, I hand my daughter to you. So, you know, boys, we, men, we have a sense of responsibilities, right? And we understand how big it is for a father to give away his daughter. We understand how hard it is, right? So a meeting with a father is something super important. The meeting with a father is like, yo, I make a good impression. This is this the boys, especially with Stacy's father, because Stacy's father is the only dude in the family of ladies. So if Izzy's looking from for a guy perspective, that's the only one he's gonna get. Let's make it clear. Then we have the whole thing with uh. We have the whole thing with um, with his father talking about cash again. So it does feel like it's a big problem. But I understand the fear. And he's, you know, Izzy, he talks about his job. And that's the first meeting. So it's kind of weird. But uh, we don't know the situation. We don't know um, the path of these people. So we can't judge. And yeah, this is, a, this is the episode. Wait. I forgot the reunion. <laughs> we have some trouble drama. Uh, thesis. Um, I'm trying to. I'm not trying to get too emotional with the drama because I want to look as a positive person. But the drama, the drama is crazy, bro. I'm going crazy. I don't care. Um, we have this uh, this moment where uh, we meet people, and this is where it's fucking nuts. So there's. It's kind of cool that the boys who did make a lot of time on the show, they're still here. Yo, they did have relationship. They did have friendship with those boys. I'm because not making the show that those boys fucking disappear, right? Um, the reunion is going to be crazy because there's like only two couple left. GP and Taylor are done. We know now they're done. They're not together. They didn't even come to the reunion. But we do meet Johnny. And Johnny, my crush, my first love, uh, as a reviewer, she, she she let me down, bro. She let me down. I mean, I understand where you're coming from, but she let me down. And uh, there's Johnny kind of kind of make some drama. Right? And there's Uche kind of make some drama. Um, so Uche, as I said in the last episode, uh, Uche, I'm going to talk with Uche first because Uche is the easiest thing to do. Um, Uche, he feels like Lydia kind of ruined his relationship. And we know that when they broke up, Lydia would keep texting him. So Uche's like, yo, you're going to have to leave me alone. You broke up on my other relationship. I was nice to you. I was willing to help you out. But you fucked up. You fucked me over. So he was trying to, to, take, to talk to Lydia as a, uh, yo. What she did was not cool. And I think Uche's intention were good. We're like, this is not cool. Like, he cares about Aliyah. I think he cares about Aliyah. Uh, and the way she's talking, the way he talked to her. It's a bit rude. But Uche is like that. He's more strict. He's more like, yo, you going to listen to me? Uche, I'll have to, to protect him on that. He's a good listener. But he likes to talk. So when you're talking, when he's done, he's able to talk to you. He's able to listen to you. But then he has to talk. And when he talks, says, you listen to me. And that's not a, a dialogue. It's a monologue. So even though you have your turn to talk, it's not always like that. It's not always going to work like that. You have to understand that, bro. Um... I talks to Lydia. Lydia, she wants nothing to do with him. Uh, I think that because she feels a bit... It, it does seem like she feels a bit guilty. It does feel like uh, there's some past that's got that's not solved, right? So it does feel a bit shitty. And uh, Uchi talks to Milton, so that's going to be the next episode. Um, and I want to talk about Johnny. And Johnny is nuts. So... Uh, it's hard for me. It's really hard for me. Oh, she's a guy. I don't give a fuck. But Johnny, she's a lady. And I want to respect the lady. I want to be nice to girls, right? Johnny kind of has a chitty on the show. We don't know her past. There's a reason why she's like that. Her past relationship maybe made her like that. But she's being chitty on the show. And Izzy calls her out for it. Izzy calls her out. And a part of me, 
a big part of me wants I want to believe that Izzy's with it for Chris. I want to believe that Izzy is shine because Johnny did back back talk bad about him, talk shit about him. So a part of me thinks that either Izzy wants to protect Chris because I, I don't feel nice saying this, but I have to say it. I have to be honest. There's a possibility that Izzy feel like he dodged a bullet with Johnny. He feels like he he got the better the better couple, which I don't know. I don't fucking know. Um, the thing is that Chris might be able to su- it might be suffering. So a part of me saying that Izzy's feeling he dodged a bullet is feeling like Chris is taking the bullets for him. There's possibly guilt here. There's another part of me that says, "Yo, you back? You, you talk shit about me? I'm gonna talk shit about you. Um, I'm gonna tell you that it's not okay." And to be fair, Johnny did talk about shit about uh, Izzy, and kind of cool because I love, I love, um, love is blind. The crew is phenomenal. So last season we had Zaneb and uh, Colton, and Colton was looking at this fucking asshole because he was treating bad Zaneb. Until the the production and the crew helped Colt. Uh, Colt. I don't fucking. Oh man, I have bad memories. They showed a real scene of what really happened, and then I'm saying that he told her not to eat too much it wasn't true. So this time they showed that Johnny says no, I haven't said the truth, and we can kind of see that she gave two version, different version. And uh, Izzy, Izzy is like yo, you did something wrong, and you're lucky I'm not telling your boyfriend. And Johnny, she's she she doesn't she doesn't care, and I do think she likes Chris. I just think that it's weird that she could like Chris after. For example, when. When Lydia talked with Izzy, Lydia, she's like, I like Milton, sorry. Johnny, oh man, it's complicated, it sucks. She talks about Chris, and the first thing she doesn't talk about Chris, she cries. So she's not happy, right? And you, it's not necessarily about her not being happy. It's about her putting herself in an unhappy uh, situation. And then um, when you put yourself in an unhappy situation, right, um, it's not nice. And what I do feel bad is that, again, Chris is defending her. Uh, he's defending you saying you're not a bad person and what I do feel bad also is that Stacy and Izzy like is, Stacy's like what did she want because Stacy didn't like Johnny and Izzy told her and kind of see Izzy getting emotional but again it, it comes from a place where he wants to wants to talk to Johnny because she did him wrong and he doesn't feel like he had this uh, this uh, that salvation right we got Ushi and Lydia again it was a fucking mess and that's basically the episode so, super solid episodes, a lot of things going on. So, for the next one, I'm probably going to be tomorrow or Saturday. As always, I love you guys. I have to go to sleep. But thank you for being here. Thank you for joining me. Uh, you're phenomenal, and I care about you.